For 50 years, the NHRA Gator Nationals has been an iconic venue on the grand stage of championship drag racing. It has played host to record-setting performances as well as historic accomplishments. There has been good, some bad, and some spectacular. Sunday at the 50th annual NHRA Gator Nationals, there was all of the above. For the second year in a row, the third stop on the 24-race NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series Tour has been favorable for Richie Crampton. Crampton drove his dragster to the victory, stopping Clay Milliken in the final round. This was win number nine for Crampton. We all know the answer to that, man. It's Connie Coletta. This is a legends race, and uh, I get to drive for a legend, man. It's a dream come true. The DHO boys work hard. Toyota, TRD, everyone. It wasn't the smoothest trip up here for the final round, but had a lot of great help from our team. Great teamwork from all four race car teams at, at Coletta Motorsports. But uh, Steph, Emma, Reed, I love you guys. This means a lot. <coughs> St. Paddy's Day. This one's for my mom. And... Uh, God, I can't believe it. The 50th Gator Nationals is awesome. Thank you. In the 50 years funny cars have raced at the NHRA Gator Nationals, there has never been an instance where the top two qualifiers have met in the final round. Until now. Robert Height made a clean sweep of the historic event, scoring his third number one qualifier of the season and beating Tim Wilkerson in the final. Height now has four Gator Nationals titles to his credit. Robert, you've been number one at three races this season. You are the owner of Pace two Wallies. This early season dominance, are you the team to beat this season? Uh, I'm not going to get cocky or too confident. These other guys, you're going to make these guys work harder when we run like this. Um, it is good to have early success like this, but uh, they're coming, I promise. But we aren't giving up. This is, this is amazing. You don't get a race car like this very, very often. So, hey, you know what? Uh, Auto Club, Chevy, everybody. Baldwin Filters, thank you. Green beer tonight. Yes! Bo Butner continued his strong run of success, scoring his second win of the season, beating Alex Laughlin in the final when his car had an ignition issue and was shut off before the race began. The victory was Butner's ninth in his relatively short pro stock career. Gold wasn't turning out to be for you. Wow, uh, the retirement was a joke, <laughs> but uh, God bless me. I mean, look at this. I mean, uh, we run the best. We run the last run. Thank you, Mellow Yellow. And uh, I don't know where to start. Randy Lynn wins last night. I mean, what what an amazing time. You know, the next time you all see me, I'm going to be a grandpa. So, I mean, just what else can – I mean, life's great. But uh, thank you, Jim Butler Auto Group. Uh, beautiful Randy Lynn, uh, Summit, Chevrolet. You're all great. But uh, KB Racing, look at them. They didn't quit, and we made a good run there. Woo! The Gator Nationals plays host each season to the Pro Stock Motorcycle season opener. And on Sunday, the Screaming Eagle Harley-Davidson team served notice that they are ready to get back into the championship chase. Andrew Hines picked up on Sunday where he finished in qualifying, riding his street rod to the victory at the expense of his teammate, Eddie Craywick. An all-Harley final for three, rows, three years here in a row for the Harley-Davidson team. Andrew Hines finally gets it over Eddie Quaywick. What does this say about your season? Oh, this is going to be a good season. Uh, we got some good street rods underneath us, and uh, we're going to get all three of them running real good here soon. But, uh, man, this is uh, phenomenal. We got uh, uh, a whole really, really great crew that does, has done such a great job making sure we got motorcycles that can go this fast, put down the fastest, quickest side-by-side -side run in NHRA history at the 50th Emily Gator Nationals. So, I mean, I haven't won here in a long time. My very first win came here in 2004, and uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been to a few finals through the way, but, man, uh, thank you, Dad. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Declan and Gigi. I love all you guys. Yeah. Also kicking off their 2019 season, the Pro Modified Division opened with an incredible final round. Door Slammer legends Todd Tuttero and Stevie Fast Jackson made it to the finals, and in the end, it was a hole shot which determined their first ever final round matchup. Todd Tuttero beat Jackson 566 to a 564. Incredible runs to leave Gainesville with the early points lead. Winning the first Wally of the Pro Mod season on a hole shot to the quickest run in Pro Mod history. Stevie Fast called you his hero. What does this win say about your season? It's, it's a good start. We won the championship overseas. Thank the good Lord above. First, first NHRA race I ever won. I won a lot of championships, but this means a lot to me. 
Mickey Thompson top fuel Harley Davidson rider Bo Lane continued his hot hand, winning his second national event of the season, stopping Bob Malloy in the final round. In the top alcohol dragster division, a pair of second-generation drag racers battled it out for the title. Megan Myers stopped Mike Butcher in the final round. Butcher, the son of 1976 Gator Stop Fuel runner-up Jim Butcher, started eliminations from the number 16 spot. Sean Bellamyer enjoyed winning Funny Car at the Gators so much last year that he dialed another victory. This time, running the quickest elapsed time in the history of the class, a 5.35.2 to beat Doug Gordon for the crown. Drew Skillman might not be behind the wheel of a pro stalker anymore, but he is indeed still driving a factory hot rod. Sunday in Gainesville, Skillman captured the factory stock showdown title, beating Stephen Bell. This marks Skillman's first factory stock showdown title. With rain forecast to hit Gainesville on Sunday, NHRA officials elected to run most of the sportsman divisions to completion Saturday night. Craig Bourgeois topped the Saturday night action as he drove his A Nostalgia drags through to victory, starting with a perfect light and an under-the-index 560 performance to stop second-generation driver Randy Daniels. In a battle of Camaros, Kevin Reiner drove his Superstock J Automatic Camaro to the win, stopping the GTJ Automatic entry of Mark Alvey, who broke out more in a double breakout finish. Stock Eliminator also went down to the stripe with another double breakout match. Randy Lynn Ship was the lesser of the two as she beat Eddie Longhanny Jr. to score her sixth win in 10 career finals. Over in Supercomp, Holden Larice picked up his third career NHRA victory, beating Nicole Stevenson on a hole shot. It was Ed Richardson fighting his way through six tough rounds of Supergas competition, winning a double breakout match against Carl Watts. Sportsman drag racing icon Anthony Bertozzi came up big in top dragster, scoring his 22nd career NHRA title at the expense of Steve Furr, who went 005 red. Sandy Wilkins picked up his fifth career NHRA win, stopping Bruce Thrift in the top sportsman final. Super Street racer Doug Ramsey picked up his first career NHRA Wally, beating Colby Fuller in the final. The NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series takes a couple of weeks off before heading back out west for the Denso NHRA Four Wide Nationals in Las Vegas. It's easy to stay in the know. Download the CompetitionPlus.com mobile app. Sign up for push notifications to get notified of breaking news and the latest feature stories and videos. It's a free download at the iTunes Store and Google Play. This is Kathy Fisher reporting for Competition Plus TV.